In this edition of School Dilemmas, how can you prepare for an unexpected crisis at school? This dramatization, based on a real case study, shows a teacher suddenly having to deal with a pupil armed with a large knife. Is there anything she could have done to prevent the incident? And how would you have reacted in the same situation? Although the dramatization reflects real events, we're not, of course, using the actual people or school involved. In this job, you should always expect the unexpected. I was about to start a lesson with my Year 11 food technology class. OK, settle down. Please don't touch the knives yet. I needed the kitchen knives, which, as always, were counted out by the technology assistant, Mrs Skinner. One of the class stars was Lily. She quietly absorbed everything she was taught. She preferred to be left by herself, so she could go at her own pace. At least, that's what I presumed. I don't know about you, but I don't know any way of preparing or training for what happened next, and I certainly don't know any way of preventing it, unless there's something I've missed. I know one girl had brushed past Lily, almost certainly not an accident. Just find your seat, Martha, and be careful, there are knives about. And I think another girl turned around and mouthed something at her. Right, everyone, if you can just take another look at the objectives for today. Samantha, that means you have to look at the whiteboard. Suddenly, Lily snatched a knife and ran across the room shouting, you bastards. It must have taken her a second or two to reach the door, but it seemed like an eternity. I confess that I froze for a moment, unable to understand what I was doing. Then instinct took over, and I barked out the sweet things. Lily, stop! Come back! Quick, Angela! Find Mrs. Skinner, get her in here! Alan, go to the office and tell them what's happened! Then I ran like hell after Lily. Lily! I guess you might be having from the nearest exit. I caught up with her by the doors. What happened next was one of the scariest... No, it was the scariest moment of my life. Please, Lily. Just drop the knife. I can't help you unless you put the knife down, Lily. I felt I had no other choice. I had to restrain her. Give me the knife. Please, Lily. I was about to make a lunge when a firm hand gripped Lily's wrist. A colleague who had been alerted had arrived in the nick of time. I'll take it to the medical room. I wanted to go with Lily, but I needed to get back to my class. For the first time, it struck me that I shouldn't have left a room full of pupils with knives. Was I right to run after Lily, leaving a class full of pupils with knives? What would you have done? Did we have any other choice but to restrain Lily? I'm not a trained counsellor. It was just luck that a colleague arrived on time. But is there any procedure that could have taken luck out of the situation?